No, oh, you guys want to hear something really sad that I found out today? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Charlie Murphy died at age 57. I was gonna say. Today. I was gonna say, is it about yeah, Charlie Murphy? Because that's very sad. Brad just randomly texts me. He goes, "Charlie Murphy died!" Exclamation point, question mark. And I said, "What the fuck? You don't joke about that, Brad." And then I looked it up, and he had passed. Yeah, I I saw it on the uh, on the Facebook trending news, and I was like. They, they can't be talking about the real Charlie Murphy. I don't know what I thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> but this is I was, not real. I was real bummed out. That's so sad. He was definitely one of the best things that, like, without him on Chappelle's show. You know what I mean? Go ahead without Yeah. Him. Rest in peace. Also, shameless plug for Chappelle. New stand-up on uh, Netflix? Pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I've been going through episodes. it. About, about an hour apiece. And so far, they've been... One... I caught the first one. One thing that I love about him, he always has, like, hip-hop jokes buried within everything he's talking about. So, like, he'll be talking about some things and out of nowhere drop, like, a Wu-Tang thing, and it's hilarious. <laughs> it's just the funniest. <laughs> I don't know how to... Yeah, he I've... does it. He pulls it off very well. I've caught some Good of that. Good for him. Oh, dirt bike time. I'm excited. If you would have ramped off of that little thin wall, I would have applauded. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I hit a tree. Extra points for style, though. I've never been good on bikes in any game, ever. With the exception of, like, Matt Hoffman BMX, I think it was called, on PlayStation 1. Dang, I don't know, I've never had problems with bikes. I used to play motocross games, though. Yeah. I tried a... A2... Uh, like MX versus oh, yeah. something ATV bike or it was, yeah. it was older. I think we got one of those for free on Xbox a while back. Yeah, those you're are the right, best. Actually, you just, yeah, you can like screw around in those. I remember I used to play one. It was uh, MX versus ATV Unleashed, and you could like yeah. drive around and like do stunts and crap. And then if you drive all the way to the edge of the map, it would just like slowly the music would like dissipate out and then you get to the edge and then like you basically explode and go flying <laughs> off your bike like thousands of feet back into the map. It was pretty great. Uh, I love that game. It's fun. We had Dirt 3. I'm looking very quickly. We had Dirt 3. Um, there was some ATV thing. You're not wrong. Oh uh, yeah, I played the crap out of it. I don't game. see it. Oh yeah, and it had cheat codes too. Since w when do they take cheat codes out of games? Like, you know the thing is, I think they stopped to an extent being relevant at some point because you started to be able to do a lot more in video games. Because something tells it. Well, I could be way off on this, so forgive me if anybody wants to crucify me later. But like. I bet for most games you could probably still go out and like look some up. I could be absolutely way off on that. Maybe they just all turned into glitches or like PC mods or something that you could do for games. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. I mean, like if you go to PC, I mean, there's mods and stuff and like console commands. But like you know how is like cheat codes was the thing. You could go like, oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna enter this button combo in and crazy stuff happens and you get to like break the game. Well, like, how right. else were you supposed to learn the special moves in Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Like, <laughs> just guess with each character because they're different for each one? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm just saying, like, cheat codes, you know, I should bring them back. It's classic. I will say, some of those, every now and then you see, like, GameSpot or somewhere highlight a new GTA 5 PC mod or whatever. Like, I've seen him do Harry Potter, where you're flying around on a broomstick doing crap. I've seen, like, Batman. I've seen, like, there's there's tons and tons of tons. You just look and see what they've done to make it cool, and it's like, oh my god, this is actually... Like, they've done a Superman one, I've seen an Aquaman one, I've put, like, the whole world underground, underwater, or whatever. Oh my god, that guy's tied to a pole. Yeah, sadly. Was he your friend? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm... I'll have a silence for Todd's friend. Doesn't seem too torn up about it. 
Yeah, I was telling Jimmy, I'm like, it sort of auto-generated this really weird emo guy for me, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know what I was saying. Doesn't really matter. Nah. Oh, well. Gcodes.com does have stuff on newer games, but it's oh, a lot the of just, GTA mod. you know, tricks and stuff. Not like enter L1, L2, right, left, I up, think, down. And I don't think it was a PC a mod. I think, spots. didn't they legit release all of the GTA 4 map in GTA 5? Wasn't it just like an island hop now that you can run across uh -huh. and fly across or whatever yeah. and do Maybe I'm making that I, up. Los Santos. I did not know that. Leave. Don't know anything about I don't know. that. They they're so active. They made that Tron gameplay too, to where everybody was on bikes and you look yeah. just like the Tron characters, and you're on the grid doing things. I mean, they they're very very creative. They really are, and they add so much stuff all the time. It's so and impressive. it's free. And it's free. yeah. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause. Yeah. Seriously, it's free. Yes. <laughs> I will say, knock on wood, that um, <laughs> everything we've been playing that's been so good, with the exception of, I think, just Battlefield, everything's been free. I haven't paid a dime for any maps on Halo, on well, it's Call, Call of Duty, Duty MWR, but remastered, yeah, they're giving us free stuff. Yeah, MWR, uh, Overwatch, I haven't paid a dime for any of the maps. Mm -hmm. Uh, True. Obviously, GTA. I said Halo. Um, I don't know about Titanfall. Brian said there was new maps that came out the other day, and I did have an update, but I don't think I had to pay for it or anything. Yeah, I think there's free Ooh, Titanfall nice. stuff. I'm sure the Gears Four maps I'd have to pay for, but I don't. I don't play those, so I'm not too worried about it. But like all those great, huge title games, right there, all all free content, <laughs> and we are hmm. thankful. Yep. Flash. That's the way Most it should certainly. Be. I bought your game, after all. Exactly. Although Tom was telling me the other day that now in Battlefield 1, as long as one person in your party has the new maps, um, anybody that joins in on him can play them. Oh, wow. However, the catch is, if you don't own them, you don't get XP while you're playing on those maps, but you can definitely play the crap out of them, because he said... Huh. Ooh, Todd's gonna cap this fool. He capped him. He's dead. And Ooh. Todd said, "Todd said, Tom <laughs> said that Brian and Kidwell jumped in on him, and they were all three playing the maps. And Tom was the only one that owned them. That's pretty awesome. I really don't care about XP. So that's kind. Of, well, I mean, I do. I do. <laughs> I definitely, <laughs> well. I definitely do. But the fact that you can play the crap out of if you want before you buy and make that decision is kind of it's an interesting, nice feature, if you will." Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not like innovative or anything, but it's, it's I'll better than play them with no SP. <laughs> getting screwed. This recording is pretty wild. Painted love. There are just so many games I want to play. Like Black Ops 2, I haven't had a chance to get back on that yet. Halo 5. Just, ugh. Too many games. It's hard. Truly. Because I kind of have people on all of them now. Yeah, we're getting spread out. There was a time out. that everybody played the same, which isn't a bad yeah. thing. But at the same time, people trying different new great things is also a good thing. I will say... After trying to play with a group of people, even people that in the past we have played with a lot, you better take any expectation you ever had of being a well-oiled machine and flush that shit right down the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not kidding. After, I basically guess it was the, the console upgrade from 360 to 1 when everybody eventually did that. I mean, we lost some people for a time. We didn't all play the same thing. We didn't upgrade at the same time, etc. So, us going from a Black Ops 2 well-oiled machine of running lobbies of six or more all day long, 
These sitting in the new is now areas. like, oh hey, I forgot to make that call to anybody. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, mean a lot of people like, just I'm guilty of it. While, at least. Absolutely yeah, guilty so. of it because like even when it's just me and Tom or somebody and we're playing, like I forget to say things. I just get on cruise control and try to play or do something. But yeah, yeah, I've gotten that way. We when we played Halo Five for a while though, it got pretty decent because we were all kind of like playing and getting a little competitive with it. Halo or at least some of us very... were, not like all of us. But yeah. <laughs> Halo Five is very, very fun. It very is. fun. Love that game. It's great because it can be like super intense and competitive, or you can just be casual and screw around and not care. Yes, yeah. I'm a little slightly <laughs> concerned that E3s gonna throw something out on Halo 6 that is gonna look horrendous. You think? Really? Well, I said that about Halo 5, I'm gonna be honest, because Halo 5, oh. when they first debuted it or whatever, the whole aiming yeah. down the sights thing, how they changed the way that you aim, even though essentially they didn't, it just, it's like the whole you get the um, animation or whatever of ADS now, instead of just the scope. Mm -hmm. For the magnums and such, if you can remember that. Yeah. When I when I first saw that, I was like, "Oh my God, they're making Call of Duty. This is fucking stupid." Yeah, but it turned but out. But the fact man, that they so... took out from Halo Four, they took out in multiplayer the loadouts of like the, yeah. the armor abilities and stuff. I was like really that. glad about that. And they just kind of gave everybody the the well refined booster pack, the clambering, which is nice, and then the sliding. That all fits very. I mean, it took them two games, but that all fits very well now. Halo Reach and Halo yeah. Four, but it's perfect even the, now. The first part of Halo Five was kind of rough, didn't it? Launch it was. really uh, poorly, yeah. and mm. then it, it turned around really well. And I don't know if it was Five or if that was H Two A. Remember when the Anniversary Edition came out? Like the servers still didn't work for like the first year consistently. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. I didn't really play that one, but that's also when people are playing Destiny and. I don't care about Destiny. <laughs>